Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's Tag970 again. Hope all you're doing very amazing today and enjoying your first week of January and 2021. So today we'll be reviewing Israel Weapon Industries Jericho 941F9. And also guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I do have an Instagram. To go to that, go down to the description down below, find the social media links, click the link and smash that follow button. By doing that, you get anything that's exclusive for Instagram that you're gonna see on the YouTube channel. You get current events, future events, and everything that's going on in my personal life, and sometimes memes on my story. Also, you can message me directly on there if you have any specific question about something I have not mentioned in the past or the present in the video that you're watching now. I also want to thank my viewers, subscribers, and my Patreon donors. Without you guys liking, subscribing, and donating to the channel, it'll never be big as it is today, and it's still growing, and I love this community. I really do. I also want to thank... Skip from Aaron Tactical Solutions, or better known as my business partner. His link to his Instagram is also down in the description. He has donated many firearms to this channel to review. So without his help, YouTube would kind of be struggling right now. So thank you very much to him, and let's get started. Okay, so let's get over to educational part of this video, or better known as specifications. Now I do need to go over to disclaimers that this is the full size steel frame 9mm version of this handgun. Now they do make a polymer version which is lighter and less money too. And they also come in different calibers that you're choosing. So let's open up this very nice case to see what comes with the purchase of your firearm. So when I open this up I noticed that the foam cutting inside of here and just the case alone is very nice and they take their time making this kind of product i can tell just by simply the layout is how everything looks nice and crisp and clean with someone with ocd such as myself that means a lot to me especially the fact that it's all nice and organized i just know that they take their time with the firearm so you get a basic cleaning kit a lock a pamphlet and a warranty and you get your standard magazines which i'll get in later to the video now the most important part let's get into the main course of the meal the firearm itself so I'm going to put the case to the side. And of course, I made sure that the firearm was clear prior to doing this part of the video. Just a side note that this is double action, which is very nice. And it is hammered fired, not striker fired. So the overall length of this firearm is going to be leaving you at 8.2 inches overall length. So you can conceal carry. Just keep in mind it is a full size. And I'll get into the weight a little bit later because you may want to know that. And also the barrel length of this firearm is going to be leaving you at 4.4 inches and which is very strange that i don't find too often on a website but iwi states that the barrel twist rate is 1 in 10 so do what you want with that information okay so let's get into the interesting part of the video let's talk about the magazines that come with this firearm and apparently compatible with it too the ammo we use in today's video and the best recommended grain to be using with most standard 9mm handguns. So with that being said, I'm going to extract the magazine from this firearm, put the firearm to the side because it's not necessary to talk about at this time. So you get two of these 16 round magazines. Now of course you can always put one in a chamber and you'll have 17 or 16 plus one. They're nothing fancy, no logos on it, just a basic steel magazine. Now I did hear that CZ75 mags will work with this Jericho firearm. I'm not too sure because I don't own a CZ or have any CZ 75 magazines to test that theory out. But what I heard from other people, it does work. It just has some issues with it sometimes. So give or take what you want to do with that info. So let's talk about the ammo we use in today's video, which was Federal. And I'll show you a picture real quick. We use Federal 124 grain full metal jackets. I always recommend Federal. It is definitely my second favorite choice of ammunition to be using. And we've been using it for a while on this YouTube channel. And speaking of ammunition, let's talk about the recommendations of ammunition to be using. So with target practice, I always recommend between 115 grain to 147 grain full metal jackets, of course. For self-defense or concealed carry, I always recommend heavier grains such as 124 through 147 grain hollow points. That is my preference to you. Okay, so let's get to my favorite part of video, trigger poundage test. Now, obviously, prior to getting to this part of video, I made sure that the fire was clear, and I'm going to take the firearm off safe and put on fire so I can use the trigger. Now, I did hear that the double action is roughly 10 pounds. Unfortunately, our trigger poundage test tool only goes up to 8, and I'm showing you that it's also zeroed. So if that's the case, it's not going to show it on the trigger poundage test tool. After that, we're going to rack it, which resets the hammer, and we're going to try a single action. And let's get started. So I'm going to find that sweet spot on that trigger. 
Once I get on that trigger the right way, I'm going to start slightly pulling on it. And we're gonna hear a very distinct click. Like I said, I don't know what it's gonna be. All right, we're already past the eight pound mark and I'm still pulling. And there you go. So I'm guessing that it is past eight pounds because obviously we don't have any marking there. So I'm just gonna assume and agree with everybody that's 10 pounds. Now I'm going to rack the slide back and make it single action. I'm gonna try it again, make sure that it's reset like it is. I'm going to pull on that trigger and we're gonna hear a very distinct click that time. And hopefully it's not as heavy as double action. Oh wow, I got four pounds on that. So who goes from 10 pounds to four pounds, which is a pretty big difference. So I cuts it basically in half. I would recommend if you're going to conceal carry this, that you definitely have the hammer back and your safety up so it's easy to disengage that safety and pull that trigger to engage a target. And hopefully you never have to. But so 10 pounds double action and four pounds single action. All right, so let's wrap up these specifications with the weight is firearm, which is very important to know and the MSRP or retail price. So straight out of the box, this firearm is gonna be leaving you at 2.3 pounds or conversion ounces, which is 36.8 or rounding it up to 37 ounces. And I was kind of skeptical about when I picked up this firearm because it just felt heavy. So I decided to weigh it myself. I got two pounds and 6.8 ounces. So it's definitely got some weight to it. Now without a magazine insert inside the magazine housing or any ammunition inside the magazine inserted. So it's definitely got some weight. And it also depends on the grain that you'll be carrying if you decide to carry this firearm. It's definitely gonna be adding a lot of weight to your hip. So keep that in mind while making that kind of purchase. And speaking of purchases, let's talk about the MSRP. Now I did see on a couple websites that it kind of ranges the different pricing, not by much, but on, Israel Weapon Industries website, it says that it's $655. I feel like you're getting your money's worth, but just keep that in mind that the weight is probably the biggest issue that you're gonna be running into if you can decide to conceal carry this. Okay, so since I am done talking about the specifications, let's tap into how I personally feel overall about this firearm, negative and positive. And anytime I do a firearm or product review on his YouTube channel, anytime I talk about negativity, it's not that I'm bashing the company or trying to make them look bad. It's just how I personally feel. Just take it with a grain of salt if you do not agree. Everyone has their own opinion. It's just, this is my personal preference and that's it. So with that being said, the negativity, it's not that bad. It's, if anything, it's more petty stuff on my end. So the slide, I am not a big fan of slide because normally I like to check to make sure I have a round by pulling the front of that slide, but there's no serration, so there's nowhere really to grip. Obviously, I can use the back and check it that way. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. It is what it is. It's a little heavier than I would personally like, but the weight does mean something and also helps with that recoil. So give or take on that. I'm kind of disliking it, but understand why it's there. It is what it is, so I'm 50% agreeing that it's heavy and disagreeing that it shouldn't be heavy. Also, it's kinda got a heavy double action trigger. It could be lighter, but it is what it is. Other than that, there's nothing really out of the ordinary except for it not being the greatest looking pistol out there. But like I said, it's just more pettiness if anything. And let's get into the positivity about what I like about it. So it has some really nice sights. I really like the front post that it's a different color. I do love the three dot system. Unfortunately, there's no tritium for the glow in the dark. That'd be a nice feature, but they are metal, the front and the back sights. So that's very nice. I know they're durable. I do like the safety feature where I can cock it back and carry it with the hammer down and the safety up. And then when I need to engage target, just slide down that safety and I'm ready to go. You have, your rail in the front so you can run a weapon light system of some sort and maybe laser light combo if you choose to. And overall the grip feels pretty comfy. I like the beaver tail. It's very assertive and you just know that this firearm is there. It's very accurate and to what I could see it seems to be durable but other than that I got nothing more to say besides the packaging. Packaging is definitely on point. I'm very happy with them. So overall it really comes down to what do you want in a firearm. But I can tell you this, you're definitely getting your money's worth. It may not be the highly recommended firearm on my YouTube channel, but I feel like if you did decide to send it and buy it, 
I don't think he would be disappointed. Okay, so you made this far in the video, so congratulations. And let's get into your favorite part, the shooting compilation. If you did skip to get to this part, I always recommend you go back to learn specifications, just in case you are interested in actually purchasing this firearm. If not, you just like watching me shoot, just do me the solid hit that like button and subscribing. It means so much to me. I love getting that notification, pop up my phone, saying that you guys subscribed. And if you just subscribed, I welcome you to the Tag Night 7 family with open arms. You're always loved and appreciated, I promise. So enough of me talking. I know I've been talking quite a bit in this video. Let's get to what you've been waiting for, and I really hope you enjoy the video. So as you see, the Jericho 941 F9 is definitely an awesome pistol made by Israel Weapon Industries. I may not be the greatest shooter with it, it's not really my cup of tea, but I feel like if this was to get beat up and tortured, it would survive and get the job done. My main thing is putting rounds down range and hitting the target, so if it does that, it's satisfied and it's Tag 9 Sun approved, and I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's not the greatest looking pistol, not my cup of tea, and if you ever run out of ammo, I feel like you could beat someone to death just by how much is weighs. So if you're into pistol whipping people, this is probably your preferred choice of a handgun. Other than that, I got nothing more to say except for the accuracy. I want to show you a picture real quick. So at 7 yards, it took 3 rounds to the best of my ability, and the same thing at 25 yards, it took 3 rounds. Now keep in mind, every time I switch to a different handgun platform or rifle platform, I'm not always going to hit the bullseye. Some pistol and rifle platforms I go to, I can hit that bullseye all day and get good size groupings. It's just that the grip, the sights are always different from every firearm review I do because I'm switching to so many different platforms. Now, like I said, there's some videos in the past that I will be getting that bullseye every time and some I don't. It is what it is. But the main thing is seeing the grouping. You want to see the grouping, make sure that this firearm will be reliable and accurate. So other than that, I got nothing more to say. I do need to tell you guys that next week I'm not putting out a video. If you're watching this video in further date, then it does not apply. But as of right now, you're not going to get a video next week due to the fact that I need to take a just a break from doing this YouTube and spend more time with my family. They definitely deserve some family time and I definitely need to take some stress off my back. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy. I catch you next time, and thank you so much for watching.